Hey, what's up guys? My name is Echerno. Welcome to episode 37 of Game Programming. So, yesterday, or not yesterday, last time, last episode, we created this map that we could actually scroll through and we actually started rendering tiles the correct way, which was awesome. Now, we actually had a problem though um, with the with the code in the, last, in the last episode, and that is if we actually go out of bounds with the map, so in other words, if I exceed the bounds, you know, um, horizontally, so in other words, if I go too far this way, Come on, come on, how far did I freaking go? Let's just stop this and yeah, so see if I try and go left, for example, you can see that obviously that is the top left corner of the map. And if I try and go left even more, it's gonna return a negative index, which isn't gonna work. And it's gonna crash our game as you see that it did. Now, if we actually debug this and you know this, so this, yep, blah, 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 yes. Um, if we actually diagnose this, we can see that we actually get an array index out of bounds exception right over here and um, specifically what is out of bounds is tiles is well th this x plus y times width thing as you can see x is x over over here is returning negative one which um, isn't exactly working out because it's trying to find tiles at negative one which gives us you know an, an array index out of bounds exception because you know in, in uh, array index has array in would you say indices um, anyway, array indices, I guess you would say, because you wouldn't say indexes. No, I don't think so. Anyway, the array index cannot be negative, and you can see it is. So this is a relatively easy problem to fix because, um, well, there's obviously different ways you can go about doing this. Uh, for now, though, we'll probably simply say that if we are out of bounds, so in other words, if, or rather, if, because obviously X and Y are what sort of give our, um, tile things. So if x is less than zero, right, or y is less than zero, then let's just return tile dot void tile. Alright? So yeah, if if we go negative, let's just keep returning those blue void tiles. So if I launch this again and I go this way, you can see that we're just gonna get a blue tile here and it's not gonna crash because it's just it's just gonna be doing that. And you can see that we're still running very fast and everything's still cool. So that fixes that problem. Um, well, one of the problems. The other problem obviously is if we actually go out the other way. So if I patiently wait for me to get to the end of the map. All right, there we go. So in other words, if we actually get out of the array, uh, array um, if we actually get out of the, um, the map that wise. So in other words, if we exceed it, so before we were actually going negative, which is going less than the map, I guess. Now we're actually exceeding the, uh, the tile index. If we actually take a look at that, you'll see that um, the number of X is like 322 and Y59 is simply too high and we didn't create that many tiles. So we can handle that uh, in much the same way. All we have to do is say that um, also if X is greater than or equal to width, or y is greater than or equal to height, then we'll just present a void tile and that's it. Now, one thing I do want to mention real quick is you must make sure that this code, this if statement that returns a void tile, you must make sure that this code is actually the first code that is in the thing. Because in other words, if it was the other way around, so if that was first and that was there, obviously it would try and evaluate tiles of negative one, for example, and therefore crash right there. So make sure that the code that is supposed to prevent it from crashing is number one on the list, all right? So yeah, anyway, that will make sure that if you guys run out of the map, you'll just simply get void tiles, as you can see, and everything will be awesome. Okay, so next time we're gonna take a look at this black border here and how to actually fix that and make the map, um, you know, the pr pr procedural map generation uh, actually, you know, be behind the scenes instead of right in front of us but yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this episode of game programming if you did please hit that like button and i will see you guys next time goodbye